So as I was roaming around the internet yesterday or two days ago, something like that, I was tagged in an X post. The user is Mikhail and he tagged me on the, well, on this post with the AMD GPU profile manager. And as I went up, Mikhail said, no idea why no one has made it yet. So I made it myself. AMD GPU Profile Manager, a utility to whitelist FSR4 for any application via AMD ADL, so via AMD Adrenaline. What this means is that if the game supports AMD FSR 3.1, you can just, with the software, you can create an AMD profile for that game and enable AMD FSR4. It isn't really hard to understand. Imagine that you go to the gaming tab and you have games with FSR 3.1 that still don't support AMD FSR 4 officially. So if you want to use AMD, F AMD FSR 4 sorry, in those games, you need to use OptiScaler. And if the OptiScaler doesn't really work in those games or you don't really know how to make it work, well, you can just use this AMD GPU profile. Hogwarts Legacy supports AMD FSR 3.1. The same way that this channel supports to the sponsor, GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only 15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. Hogwarts Legacy supports AMD FSR 3.1, meaning that in theory, AMD FSR 4 should work. But still, AMD needs to whitelist the games in their drivers in order for the games to work. And as you can see, FSR 4 is not stated here. Even though if we go to the main tab, like the graphics tab, FSR 4 is enabled. But if you go to Hogwarts Legacy, it isn't. If we go to Fort Solis, Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 is enabled. If we go to Marvel Rivals, the same FSR 4 is enabled. So you need that profile and you need that whitelist on the AMD side. But with the AMD GPU Profile Manager, you can do it. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, I'm Fabio Pisco okay. and, and welcome, welcome to, to my, my channel. channel. And just before I start showing you how it works and showing it to you how it actually works like working really gameplay wise. I just want to tell you that this is also useful for people that are having issues with the latest drivers. For example, if you're if you're having issues with the latest 25.8.1 drivers, but you still want to use FSR4 officially, officially of course, uh, with Cyberpunk 2077. You can just use older drivers and then enable the FSR4 profile with the AMD GPU profile manager, just letting you know. So the AMD GPU Profile Manager is uh, available on GitHub and you'll have the link in the description as well or if you want you can just go Google AMD GPU Profile Manager and it will appear. It is currently on the 0.0.4 version and by the way, do this at your own risk when it comes to online games. You can do this for online games like The First Descendant, maybe Path of Exile, I don't know if the game supports FSR 3.1 but like OptiScaler, do this at your own risk. There are some games that might, might not ban you, but there are some games that might. So make this mostly for single player games. You can do that for the online games as well, but again, at your own risk. All you have to do is go here, AMD GPU Profile Manager, download the executable, okay. Then you run the executable and Windows will most likely tell you that, yeah, you have Windows protected. So anyway, run anyway and this will be it. Now, again, if we go to the gaming profile of, let's say, Hogwarts Legacy, no FSR 4 whatsoever. Now, as soon as we go here, let's search for Hogwarts Legacy. This is the, the easiest step. There are some games that aren't presented here, but some are, so you can just go Hogwarts, and Hogwarts Legacy is here. So, whitelist FSR 4. You can have the Battlefield 6 open beta, FSR 4 as well, but again, do it at your own risk. And you can add the FSR tech preview games. Those are games that are not presented somehow. They are not presented on the, on the normal drivers like the 25.8.1, even though the preview, the tech preview for FSR 4 games is kind of old right now, like two months or something. And those games are still not in the official version. And one of those games is Silent Hill 2. If you go here, Silent Hill 2, no FSR 4 whatsoever. Now, you can just press Add FSR Tech Preview. 
Oh, let me just... And you can see that Inzoi, Ninja Gaiden Black, Ark Ascended, The Quiet Place, and, um, of course, Silent Hill 2 were added and whitelisted. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is basically stop the AMD recording, start recording with OBS, and restart the AMD Adrenaline. Maybe it works that way. And, well, I guess I didn't really need OBS, I just needed to stop the recording and restart the AMD Adrenaline software. As soon as I did, again, we go now to, uh, let's say, Silent Hill 2, and you can see the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4 profile in Silent Hill 2, so it is working. Going to Hogwarts Legacy is the same thing, Hogwarts Legacy Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, and it is enabled and it's working. And we can do four more games, let's say, for example, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Again, do this at your own risk, but you can make it work. You select Flight or Search for Flight, and it should appear here, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. You enable it, whitelist FSR, then you go back, then you enable this one with the Steam app ID as well, whitelist, and now on the profile you have uh, Flight Simulator as well. And you can do it for, for, the, for other games like Black Myth Wukong. You can just go and enable a profile for, for Black Myth Wukong, but what will happen is that the profile will appear here and it will state that FSR 4 is available, of course, but since the game does not support FSR 3.1, the Adrenaline app won't be able to inject FSR 4 in the FSR 3.1 uh, input. So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. So, after restarting the MD software again, and as we go into Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course, FSR 4 as well. So, now we're running the 9070, and let's see what we have here in terms of settings. We have 4K, of course with no, with not any kind of upscaling. So, as soon, what happens is that as soon as you enable FSR 3, that in this game is actually FSR 3.1, you are indeed able to use FSR 4. So let's start with FSR 2, which is kind of a good way to see how it works. So FSR 2, and let's see, uh, yeah, the balanced mode. Let's see what we got with the balanced mode. And we have 87 FPS, and we have pretty decent quality. But as soon as I start moving, I can see that we have lots of blur. You can see that FSR 4 isn't currently active. As soon as we go and we enable FSR 3, FSR 3, the game kind of has this kind of two second stutter, which is basically FSR 4 being injected. And the quality is immediately much better. I'm using, again, I'm using a 42 inches monitor and I can immediately tell that the, that the quality is different and much better. Now, as soon as we go to the MD software, FSR 4, bam, status enabled, active. So it is working because, again, the game already had FSR 3 and FSR 4 was usable without OptiScaler, but AMD just didn't whitelist Hogwarts Legacy yet. I don't really know why but they didn't, and as you can see, it works perfectly. 87 FPS, as soon as we go and we try to do something like performance mode, performance mode, pretty nice quality, and one of the things that I like the most about FSR 4 and the LSS4 Transformer model is that they add that clarity to the picture, so that they, they kind of get rid of that motion blur and they add a very, very nice clarity, something that you can see that FSR 3.1 and even XCSS don't. So FSR 4 is very, very good there, uh, even when talking about performance mode at 4K, which we are still upscaling from 1080p. But again, as you saw, it just works. And for example, with Black Myth Wukong, it will happen the same exact thing that happened with Hogwarts Legacy when we enabled FSR 2. Uh, it will just say that the game isn't, or that the FSR 4 isn't actually working active because it doesn't read the FSR 3.1 inputs and it needs the FSR 3.1 inputs in order to inject FSR 4. FSR 3 won't work, FSR 2 won't work. And that's the reason why, for example, Starfield won't work as well, because Starfield only has FSR 3 and not FSR 3.1. So now we're hovering Portugal. Uh, and we're getting around 54, 53 FPS, I guess. I can go to the graphics, of course, and we're using TAA, as you can see, native 4K. I can go to AMD FSR 3. Now, as soon as I go to AMD FSR 3, we can go to balanced mode. And I don't really think that FSR 4 is enabled. Actually, maybe this game doesn't support FSR 3.1, only FSR 3. I'm looking at it, and I can almost certainly tell you that FSR 4 isn't working. And yeah, 
FSR 4 isn't working because this game only supports FSR 3. So this is basically what happens when uh, the game doesn't really support FSR 3.1. If the game supports FSR 3.1, you can use the AMD GPU profile to enable FSR 4 through the Adrenaline app. Otherwise, you can just use OptiScaler, but again, at your own risk. And if you really want to use OptiScaler, you can watch this video that I made some weeks ago and it, it will actually guide you through the steps, how to enable uh, OptiScaler, how does it work, how it doesn't work and so on, so on, so on. Oh, and by the way, one of the things that I noticed is that I tried to make some user profiles, basically create the profile here and I did enable the profile for uh, Titan Quest 2, one of the games that is now currently in beta and I already bought it because that's one of the, my favorite games of all time, Tit Titan Quest. So I bought Titan Quest 2 and I tried to enable uh, and create a profile, but um, the adrenaline software just wouldn't do it. I don't really know why. I restarted the computer, did everything, but it just didn't work. But yeah, I, yeah, OptiScaler did, so that's fine. Still, it is what it is. It has some bugs, the version is still 0.0.4. And again, do this at your own risk, but you can now enable the profiles on your AMD software. So thank you all guys for watching. Thank Mikhail for making the GPU profile. Thank you for tagging me and see you in the next video. Cheers.